Re and then audio. see if you, when you listen to the recording, what you hear. Yeah. And go ahead and stop your recording. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying. Yeah. Okay, then. Uh, I saw it, it's running and then, and then stop the recording. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I see. When the meeting is over, okay. <laughs> so we'll just try and see what happens. Yao, any luck? Oh, look at my Oh. Let me go into the Chinese room. Yao, any luck? Are you? Okay, then. Uh, can you record? Yes, yes, can. Can, huh? Yeah, can. Yeah, okay, we will see whether uh, we don't know. So, in the uh, Claudia, yeah. So in fact, uh, in terms of meaningless activities, uh, uh, ultimately, all activities uh, that are motivated by uh, benefiting ourselves only, uh, they are meaningless. <laughs> from 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 that perspective, you know, because as long as our actions are only uh, guided by uh, uh, mm, mm, our own self interest, in the end, uh, the fruit that they produce uh, are going to be uh, unsatisfactory, uh, rotten. So, you know, to so we love woman, current leader, never hold on. 在某一個角度來講呢,就是沒有意義了。只是為了滿足我們自己個人的私欲的話,那就是沒有意義了。So uh, recognizing that, uh, in a way you can say then the second uh, common preliminary will support the next extraordinary preliminary or foundation which is bodhicitta so now recognizing uh, how unreliable uh, how unpredictable our life is going to be one moment we are fine next moment we are not fine so don't waste time on meaningless activities but instead turn our efforts to uh, actualizing bodhicitta uh, so that's this the Second common preliminary supporting the second uncommon preliminary. So, in the Tiaga, the Suena, Joe Tizel, Tiaga, the Pukong Jasin, you mean the Fabo de Sing, Dalman Lao de Dalman, and Suming, the Sodomo, the Booker, Booker, the Kakao, Raho, and Go, Tikui Huan. So, you know, woman, uh, 去珍惜我们的生命，然后就呃不放逸我们的生命，然后这有这个殊胜的这个发心，啊，就是这个第二个前行呢，这个共的前行呢，支持了第第二个共前行发布的心。The uh, third common preliminary is the uh, preliminary of um, reflecting on the unmistaken nature of cause and effect. Happiness is the result of skillful actions. Suffering is the result of unskillful actions. Seeing how that is, then we become more and more uh, careful about the choices that we make. So 
所以了解这一点呢，就是就了解这因果。And the choices that we make, uh, not only produces the results when the time is right. On top of producing the results, they also produce. Uh, they are also, as we say, habit forming. So this is the karmic propensities. So the 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 issue with karma is. As and the issue with negative karma, and of course also with positive karma, is that not only do actions produce con uh, uh, results, choices uh, uh, end up with consequences, but uh, it also produces a habitual pattern, uh, which will then predispose us towards whatever we have been habitualizing. In a way, that's more dangerous than even uh, the direct result of your karma ripening, because that habitual pattern uh, will predispose you to uh, always angry or always joyful. So, 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 这三呃呃三因结呃善果，二因结恶果，而同时呢，这种种种的选择，而带来的这个这个、结果呢，也会形成的一种我们称为的这习气，而更危险的就是这种习气。如果有这种习气，比如说这习气呢，造成我们是，反而是生气呢，或是快乐，都是会形成这个习气呢，它有一种这个驱动力呢，去影响呢我们接下来造的这个业。So this third common preliminary, recognizing how much of how we right now, even, even if right now we we make the resolve, you know, I want to practice the dharma, I want to act skillfully, I want to make the right choices, you know, but this conditioning is so strong, this habit conditioning is so strong, and then when and when especially negative karma kind of turns up, you know, we get. Turn completely out of shape. Then sometimes good karma turns up. We also completely got turned out of shape in terms of our commitment to dharma practice. Things are going so well now. It's like oh, I have other things to do. So recognizing that, now we see why it's so important to do purification through vajrasattva practice. So the third common preliminary. Directly supports the third uncommon preliminary. So, 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 所以呢，我们必须要注意，在这个第三个这个思能够这个思维这因果的关系呢，呃，支持呃这个，让我们能够更深入的去去啊，了知道说第三个不共前行里面的金刚萨陀敬业呢是多么的重要。And、the third uncommon preliminary of Vajrasattva purification is not enough to just Recite mantra, recite mantra, recite mantra. The four powers needs to be involved. The power of regret or remorse. The power of applying the remedy, which is the Vajrasattva meditation. The power of refuge or reliance, which is relying on the powers of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Well, who have completely purified all their uh, uh, obscurations, and then finally the power of resolve, uh, resolving not to continue to create negative karma. So these four powers are necessary. So this in the Jingan Sato, there is not only the practice of Jingyan, not only the practice of the Jingyan, but the practice of the Jingyan Sato. This Jingyan Sato's practice, uh, practice, 呃，通过这个啊，懊悔、懊悔，然后
必须要这个要停止，然后要抑制，这这样萨陀，呃，这是敬业本尊，然后他的禅修，然后也同时的消除这个承诺呢，不再犯这些条件之下呢，才能够啊、呃、这个做好这敬业的这个根本。Uh, the fourth uh, uncommon, uh, the fourth common uh, foundation, uh, is the thought uh, on uh, the contemplation on how uh, the entire six realms of samsara, uh, in the end, uh, even if temporarily, right, the higher realms uh, are better than the lower realms, but ultimately, in all six realms of samsara, um, there is no real uh, happiness to be achieved. Uh, so here it really gets us to not think, oh, things are going pretty well. Uh, maybe this is the God realm. Uh, maybe I'm good now. Uh, but no, uh, there's, as long as we're in this cycle of confusion, you know, suffering is involved and you don't know what's going to happen next. So the fourth thing is to understand that the world is suffering. 没有真正一一一个地方呢是，呃，完全的是快乐的，呃，这个在只要我们的这个心呢还是在迷转，是迷乱在这个轮回当中呢，呃，也得不到真正的一个永恒的快乐。呃、uh, ，and actually this fourth uh common preliminary, in my opinion, uh, we have to pay more attention to how the three higher realms.、Uh, Are actually not safe because the three lower realms, you know, nobody needs to tell you, you know, <laughs> that they are not 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 real, not good, that they are suffering. That's pretty obvious. So the fourth common preliminary is more about, you know, when things are going so well, things are going so great, right? Yes, now you have your. A、uh, house in the city and house in the country. Now you have a boy and a girl, and the boy says, "I'm going to be a doctor," and the girl says, "I'm going to be an engineer."、Uh, and the boy is going to marry a girl, and the girl is going to marry a, a man, and so you don't have to worry about if they decide to marry something else.、Uh, so you think, "Oh, everything is great now, right?"、Mm? Then you 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 get fooled by samsara.、Uh, you're like, "Oh, my retirement." Uh, 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 resources are going to be great, you know. You think it's all reliable,、huh? then you are tricked. So, so it's the higher realms、huh? that you got to be very careful about. The fourth this thought, then, is more for the three realms. Three realms is more for the three realms. If it's three realms, we don't need to explain. We all know that it's like this. Ah, ah, it's painful. 是痛苦的，是不好的，必须要避免的。然后，如果是这个，呃，三个这个好的这个，呃，圣道呢，反正我们要小心。比如说是，我们这个生活呢已经改善了，我们生活这个退休呢也非常的，呃，没问题。孩子呢也，呃，有他们理想的这职业，孩子做医生了，是工程师了，女儿也嫁嫁好的丈夫了，或者有得到好的归宿。我们觉得，哎，生活已经好了，那那就要小心，这也是可能一个陷阱，啊、呃，因为我们被这个轮回呢被欺骗，会让我们这个啊、呃、愚弄了，我们这啊、呃、已经被这个轮回呢愚弄了。So then, how do we relate、uh, to all these good things that do happen to us that we want happen to us? This supports the fourth、uh, extraordinary preliminary mandala offering. That means all the good that we experience, that we like all here, we offer. We offer to the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. We offer for the happiness of all beings. So this is how the Vajrayana method. The Vajrayana method at the Vajrayana level is not necessarily saying you have to throw away all these things. But generally, you know, the the less <laughs> stuck you are with these things, the better. But it says if Well, these good conditions come. You need to skillfully、uh, offer them, and so this is the essence of this mandala offering practice. It's related to the fourth thought that turned the mind. This fourth thought, then, is ah, 
支持了我们这个呃“四公前行”里面第四个的呃线曼达，所以呢，就是啊、呃、金安镇里面的呃方便的法门，然后就说，当我们的生活呢都非常理想啊什么，得到呃这些呃很好的这些受用。而我们必不需要的全部的时候，必须要这个丢弃，而是要怎么样的可以，可以转为呃，这个能够利用它来转为这个这个无上的这个供养，来辅助我们的修行。虽然呢，我们在生活上呢，必须要稍微的也啊、呃，不受这些这些物质的东西的影响。不过呢，当想受用这些这些物质的呃同时呢，我们也可以这个利用它来去做，来辅助我们的修持。So in the mandala offering, not only the mundane good things that happen to us that we offer, the things that we normally enjoy we offer, but even uh, on the more advanced states of like meditative practice, uh, experiences of good experiences, blissful experiences, you know, a single pointed mind, all these things, even that, uh, we should not get tricked, we should not get sidetracked, we should offer them. Without attachment. So, so, not only is it that we are blessed with all kinds of good benefits, but in the mandala, we are also benefiting from the experience of the practice of meditation, and we are focusing on the mind, on the concentration of 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 the mind. 无私的供养出去，不执着的，完完全全的供养出去。Uh, in one of the texts that、uh, I've been working on with some translators、uh, of a teaching by Jigden Sungun、uh, on the method of turning uh, uh, the four maras, four types of maras, to dispel the four types of mar, four types of mara.、Uh, the the first dispelling is the mara.、Uh, it says uh, that. Uh, Um, it warns、uh, practitioners. It says, you know, one of the ways in which maras、uh, arise for practitioners,、uh, like、uh, advanced practitioners, he says, it's like、uh, they will come in the form of disciples, and they will come in the form、uh, of good meditative experiences.、Uh, so this is warning、uh, the the dharma practitioners who are doing well. Oh, lots of disciples are gathered around you. Lots of people are making you offerings.、Uh, they listen to you, and your own meditative experience is going well. Kyoba Rinpoche warns.、Uh, he says, "That's that's that's a type of mara,、uh, and that type of mara, you know, easily you're going to get, to get hooked, get misled." So here, mandala offering is also reminding us, you know, no matter what level we are, you know, oh, your business is going well. Be careful. Offer that. Oh, your dharma activities. If you are a dharma teacher, a, a great master, is going well. You know, I have two hundred centers. You know, I have two million disciples.、Uh, this and that. You know, be careful.、Uh, or if you are in a cave、uh, for twenty years and you are meditating,、uh, and your practice is going so well, Gopal Rinpoche、uh, says, be careful,、mm? because that's Mara arising.、Uh, So here, what is showing us is how we handle success. Success itself、uh, is kind of unreliable. How we handle the success. So here, mandala offering is actually a method too, to to keep reminding and training us.、Uh, don't grasp at the good results. Just offer them. Just offer them away.、Uh... 上次他同时也跟人这个在呃进行翻译的一个一个法本呢，就关有提的这个关关于这个四模，其中第一个模呢，就对于这个啊、呃、提醒我们这些这个修行者呢，他说啊、呃、模呢会显现为呃弟子，或是很好的这个禅定的这个感受，来给予这个修行者的一种啊啊障障碍这个修行者的方法，就是提提供这些。啊、呃，就算呢，这个所以这个，呃，今天文博见呢，他他就这个呃提醒那些修行者，你要小心呢。不管呢，如果是
啊、呃，你有这个呃。很这个二十个中心，呃，是两百个中心，二是两百万的这个土地，二是你在这个啊闭关了二十年，有很好的这个长长修这个体验呢，你要小心呢，魔呢会以种种这种这种啊这个引诱来去让你这个这欺骗欺骗你，蒙蔽你，所以呢，种种这这是说呃，在怎么样我们去处理我们的这个成功。啊，这成功的本身呢，其实不可靠的。不过当呃，在成功的当儿呢，我们要懂得怎么样去处理它。So this is one way of how to relate the four common foundations with the four uncommon foundations. 对，那这是如何呢？把这个我们的。四前行的是这个，呃，跟这个四共前行的这个跟四不共的加这个加行呢合一，合在一起。So with that, now we're going to do、uh, the formal recitation and practice of the four、uh, uncommon foundations, and please try to remember in each of the section. Uh, how the four common foundations are related to them. So, 接下来呢，我们就这去念诵这个啊法本这一轨跟这个啊四共加行的啊四不共加行的这个一轨。然后，当我们念诵的呢，同时呢，要想这啊刚才所提到的。这个四共加行里面的怎么样去把它结合 ？So I, I. Don't think if you are in the、uh, interpretation room,、uh, you can hear the chanting、uh, for the practice. So, if you cannot hear the chanting for the practice、uh, in the interpretation room,、uh, so maybe you want to come back to the main room. In which case,、uh, you choose English、uh, temporarily so that you can、uh, hear、uh, the practice and chant along. 而在这个翻翻译房里面呢，可能你们听不到这个念诵的声音。如果是，啊，你们可以暂时这个离开，选择那个英语的那个，回到这个啊,啊前面来，然后这个才能够听到这个念诵的声音。Jidar lume gyamne gunju zun nang tar jugu longu jugu zun sangwa zalun tele changju zun ngobo dongi dama tare ma changju bardu medra kamsu jin jidar lume gyamne gunju zun. Nang tar jugu longu jugu zum zong wa zalung tele chang ju zeng wo wo dong ge dama tare ma chang ju bar du me dra gyab zu ju ju dar lu me gyab ne kun ju zu nang tar jugu longu jugu zum. Sang wa za long te le chang ju se ngo wo dung ki dharma thare ma chang ju bar du mi dra kya su ju. Ho nang wa ju su ma ju gur we na kyu ma kya m shin lo pe lam ko Dro nam kya ke ne le dre jir du Tsa dang ka du niam ga ji ru ju ru Mik ji ze me shi yi sem ki du Ho nam wa 
Jusumadro Corve Nangumar Gyam Shin Lobe Lamgo Vedro Nangyo Genile Drachidu Tadrang Kadu Nyamna Jirjung Rumi Jing Zeme Shi Sem Kedu Madrung Gurwe Nang Yuma Kyam Shin Lope Lam Gurwe Dronam Gauke Nele Drejidu Sadang Kadu Nyam Jijung Ru Meji Zeme Shi Zem Gedu Jiva Lama Durje Sempani Yam Yun Yam Su Begi Tam Gishu Kurse Tome Nesai Dik Drim Kung Gosun Rabgu Nung Gyo Jim Boy Shai Shi Che Megi Da Zan Nang Wai Su Om Bhajra Sato Hong Bajra Sato Hong Om 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 Bajra Sato Hong So <clears throat> now temporarily, uh, you might want to go back to your interpretation room. 
so that I can say something about the next part of this uh, practice. Uh, the next part of this practice is the first section of the main practice. And this is called the most secret sadhana, which is the practice of Achi as Guru. Uh, this practice of Achi as Guru is very unusual. Uh, because generally, uh, Achi belongs to the Dharmapala uh, category uh, among the three roots, uh, the Guru, uh, the uh, first root, the Idams, the second root, and the third root uh, is Dharmapalas, Dakinis, Dharmapalas, Dakas. So generally, Achi belongs to the third group, but in this uh, sadhana, in this cycle of practice, uh, you practice Achi as Guru. Uh, so this is very unusual. So in general,这个阿基呢是属于护法，在三根本里面呢，上师本尊空行护法里面呢，呃，一般来讲呢，阿基呢是属于空行护法的部分，但是。And it is even called, you know, the most secret level of practice. So in the uh, now, most secret uh, here, you know, whenever we see the word secret in Vajrayana, uh, we should not instantly think, you know, like uh, CIA or, you know, MI5, MI6, you know, uh, secret service. Uh, no, it, it means uh, in general, it means like the most essential level, uh, the most like heart essence level. Sometimes, uh, it does mean um, secret in the sense of uh, don't or not necessary uh, to kind of openly, indiscriminately talk about it. It does have that sense, yes. Mm.不过呢，同同时呢，这呃秘密有时候呢想说，我们不需要公开的到处的宣说，它有这个意思呢，就是说我们不随便的，而是公开的宣说这些。so here I want to say it's what I'm going to say next is my personal opinion. So you can take it or leave it. <laughs> so in my personal opinion, I think that it is best that we do not open our big mouth and brag about, you know, oh, we have Achi practice, which is like a guru practice. Because there are going to be people who don't understand and cannot accept. How can you take a Dharmapala and turn into a guru practice? Then suddenly you find that you have to defend this, you have to argue with them. Uh, and then your own confidence may be also shaking a little bit. Uh, so then you expose yourself to all this unnecessary distraction. 
So we have to take to some degree of seriousness when it says it's the most secret practice. So think of it as the most essential held inside your heart. So don't go blabber to others. <laughs> 我们不需要去限缩不需要到处的去去宣传 uh, In the worldly way, uh, secrets sometimes, uh, often, secrets are kept because they are shameful. They are things that you want to hide. <laughs> In the worldly way. 在世俗的层面,有些说那个秘密的有时候,那是因为羞耻的,我们必须要隐藏的,不敢给人知道。Here, it's secret in the sense of, it's personal. It's hard kept in the heart not to be exposed 這裡講的這個秘密呢是是指這是個人的我們把這個收在心裡面不需要這個不想要給別人知道。In this way when we keep Archie as guru close to our heart, you know, then the the blessing power can be very strong. 所以呢我們把這個 and you will not expose your relationship to Archie as guru for kind of damage. So the last meeting, uh, I already explained uh, the Guru practice. So now uh, we will do the section of the practice. Uh, this week we are going to start looking at the next section, the next uh, main part of this practice. Uh, so now uh, we're going to do the practice. And again, if you cannot hear anything in the interpretation room uh, with regards to the chanting, then come back uh, to the main room temporarily. <coughs> 现在上一次我们已经有讲解这个正行的第一个部分 Karaja Tangor lama idam sanjedam, Changsem jokyun zonan trum zodara, Shubar dalu jewa trujene, Chasel zeme kunzan jodenta, Rab ju jube zoge chubar ye. Gema gongje ma je rimpe je dala gyamne gyo jan ma je na se wa jimpe tu ki gongzo la kun zang do me gyo sha ma zin bar ma ye tu ki long ne ma do je Nyam dang mi lam kang du ying yang rung go la ke de meng a tse du zo. Namor 
धर्म दरे महामूल सिद्ध फल नमो धर्म दरे महामूद्र 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 सिद्ध फल नमो धर्म दरे नमो धर्म दरे महामूद सिद्ध फल 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 नमो धर्म नमो धर्म दरे महामूद सिद्ध फल 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 नमो धर्म नमो धर्म दरे महामूद सिद्ध फल 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 नमो धर्म दरे महा सिद्ध फल नमो धर्म दरे महामूद 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 सिद्धे भलो सोवाथ बे मजे गुसुम लुदे रंगी ने सुम थे गुसुन ड्रिप दुसुन सबुन थ्रु मजे ओजु रंग दिर मे section in the text that I have, I think some of you have a text that might be slightly different, uh, is the auspicious verses. So this is like the uh, invoking the blessings uh, of the 
uh, three roots. Rubadurjanjandangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjangjang
uh, the Gana Chakra offerings, yeah? especially in the Dragon style, um, this is considered uh, not necessary. Uh, in fact, uh, Kyoba Rinpoche himself actually discouraged the use, uh, the actual use of meat and alcohol, uh, and he follows this uh, in the tradition of Pamodrupa. For example, for instead of alcohol, he says, you know, you can mix uh, yogurt with liquid. So, you can build you know, the bond is one in go, I got part to go, uh, Rulona, Tanyi, so I do that. So, anyway, uh, you can prepare uh, this Gana Chakra. It can be very simple, you know, if you are sincere in your practice uh, of this and wanting to observe this. Uh, it can even be like your dinner uh, that you are going to take, uh, but you do it in the form of Gana Chakra. So you have beginning with uh, Ram Yam Kang and Um Ah Hong. Uh, it says here, recite Ram Yam Kang three times and Um Ah Hong three, three times. Ram Yam Kang uh, is to cleanse uh, the offering and Um Ah Hong is to uh, magnify uh, both in terms of the amount and the qualities of the offering. So, we start reciting this Ramyangkan three times. Ramyangkan is the Uh, Ram Yam Kam are the six seed syllables for fire, wind, and water. Ram Yam Kam, this is the main syllable, is the fire and the water syllable. So sometimes you will see, uh, like uh, uh, the 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 chupan, uh, the one who uh, kind of uh, does the. The ritual assistant, uh, you can say the chupan. Uh, if it's in a big ritual, uh, you have a chupan, a ritual assistant, uh, will light a stick of incense uh, and then kind of, you know, do this motion over the offering. That is the to represent fire. Uh, at the tip of the incense, there's this, right, burning. So that's to represent the fire. Uh, so the fire burns away all the filth all the unclean aspects of the offering. So that's the syllable Ram. So in other words, in the practice, in the practice, you see that the the sitter, the 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 uh, so in the bumpa, there is like the peacock feather uh, and uh, uh, the spout, uh, which is dip in the water. So yam and kam, usually you just see uh, done like in this way where uh, the, the chuban again will uh, kind of shake the bumpa, uh, then take the spout out, then just kind of move like this. Uh, and they're moving like this, the peacock feather side is like the wind uh, blowing away uh, all the ashes, right? After you burn something, there's a lot of ash blow away all of that. Then the water sprinkling uh, is then the third cleanse uh, completely now uh, after you sweep away the dust, then you do a mopping, so to say, right? That's also how you clean your floor. Uh, first you should sweep uh, before you mop. Uh, so then you mop it out with water. Now it's completely cleansed. Uh, 
，就是去去撒那个时候，那个孔雀毛呢，代表这个风大，就风呢把这刚才我们粉净的那些有剩下的一些灰尘呢都吹掉，然后那个甘露呢，甘露瓶里面的甘露水呢，就是水大了，然后又在。清净的，就是我们就啊，莫干净，把刚才的那些啊，因呃吹掉的这个啊不净的地的东西呢，现在的再次的莫干净它。Uh, so the words of this offering here, I think, is、uh, very clear. I don't think、uh, much needs to be said,、uh, except that、uh, as I said, you know, it makes the point. Like, like in making this offering, may our transgressions and broken samayas be purified. Uh, and so may the samayas then now be restored.、Uh, so may our bond, specifically、uh, our bond to our vajra guru,、uh, be kept、uh, pure and intact. 然后这呃，上次觉得啊，这个仪轨里面也解释的非常清楚，也不需要呃非常呃去去讲解这个会供的部分。但是就是说这些这个呃，通过这些供养呢。上师跟弟子的这个关系能够密切，所有的三三面呢都都能够恢复，包括在眷属就是师兄弟子。So on the one hand, may our bond, our union with our guru, be intact, be restored, and then may we be separated from, may we liberate all the obstacles, and the biggest of obstacle is distraction. So may we be free from distraction. And then, in this way,、uh, we achieve the common and supreme cities,、uh, the common and supreme accomplishments. Then, this, uh, giving and not giving, this achievement, can be achieved. This achievement. Um. Then、uh, we say、uh, the mantra for offering the Gana Chakra is Gana Chakra Puja Kahi. Then after saying that mantra, that's when we take first we offer. Now we eat、uh, this Gana Chakra, and when we're taking this Gana Chakra, we we have to、uh, kind of. Uh, partake of this Gana Chakra、uh, in the state of being the Idam, so not in an ordinary state. 就就是我们呃， so in this way we receive the offering that we are offering. 吃这个呃会供的贡品呢，就是我们必须要观想呢，本身呢是是本尊，而并不是凡夫。那我们就享用这个，我们是以本尊的形象呢，这个。But don't. Eat all of it.、Uh, leave one portion, which we are going to offer to those who are unable、uh, to receive this offering when we first offered it,、uh, because of their own obstacles, their own obscurations.、And、so this is called the leftover offering, which is offered with the final mantra here, Uchendra、uh, Balinta Kahi. So when we say Uchendra Balinta Kahi. This remainder offering、uh, in Tibetan called lakma. This remainder offering、uh, you take outside、uh, and toss、uh, as an offering to whoever that needs it. So, that, uh, eating the offering, the first one, not to eat, just to leave a part, which is our so called food. This is to take to offer to those who have obstacles, who are their blood relatives. Before we say. 供的时候他享受不到的，所以呢，我们接下来的那一句乌鸡达巴林达嘎嘿的时候，就把这个蚕食呢拿出去供出去呢，就是给那些啊、呃、之前啊、呃。So if you do this、uh, Gana Chakra or talk offering, it should it's not like literally at the end of the practice. Actually, it should be inserted、uh, after you recite the. Guru Mantra, Namo Dharma Tare Mahamudra Siddhi Palahong. Yeah, after you have finished reciting mantra, and before you receive the empowerment, you insert、uh, the Gana Chakra section. So, 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 so,
如果是我们中文发本就没有问题，就是在这个呃，刚才这个上司的那个念那咒语的，那么达玛达列玛姆扎西提巴拉轰过后呢，接下来就是做这个会供，中文的发本没有问题，只是英文的发本呢，你要可能要注意，它必须要加在这个部分。Uh, then you receive the four empowerments. Uh, you do the completion stage. Then you do the dedication prayer. Then you do the auspicious uh, blessings. So, then, next, next, we will receive the uh, uh, then we will receive the auspicious blessings. Then we will receive the Yeah, so now uh, let's look at the next section, uh, which is called the inner sadhana of the Idam deity. The Idam section. Uh, so here, the Guru is the most secret uh, level, then the Idam is the inner, uh, then later, the next section, the Dakini uh, is the secret. So, in the sense, in the so the order is a little unusual. Uh, usually the order is more secret uh, than secret uh, than inner, but somehow here, uh, it's the inner comes first. Uh, just to point out, it, it's not a big deal. Just to point out. Uh, so here, uh, in the title of this section, it says, generated instantaneously with perfect recollection. Okay, in English, it says, uh, the idam, in other words, this inner practice of the Idam deity, uh, the deity is uh, produced instantaneously rather than step by step. Uh, uh, in more elaborate Edam practice, basically the Edam practice uh, utilizes uh, the way in which our physical universe and our physical bodies uh, kind of is produced in this world using the same sequence. Uh, the Edam is generated generated is produced is created uh, so in 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 detailed practices of idam uh, it, it will go step by step like that uh, out of emptiness then there's this then the palace is formed and before the palace is formed the four elements that constitute the divine palace you know the different mandalas the different shapes the different colors all of that uh, step by step by step by step by step uh, in this case, this generation of the Edam or the creation of the Edam deity is called instantaneous. Uh, just in one moment. So it's called the perfect recollection. Recollection is also sometimes translated as mindfulness. So it's a to uh what it means is to remember to remember the idam. Then in that moment of remembering the idam. Then in that moment, uh, you arise as the Edom. Uh, the Edom here 
is uh, the deity Vajrakilaya. Uh, but in this particular practice, the form of Vajrakilaya uh, is a female uh, form. So in the Tanka that uh, I think uh, some of you have uh, images of that, uh, you, you can see uh, the image of this, uh, uh, this particular form of Vajakilaya is in a female form uh, and is seated. And so it's Archie as Edom, uh, and she holds uh, uh, an iron uh, purba or kila uh, in her hand. So, in the Tanka, the Champion, the Nukanda, the Tuga, you sing the Tuga Purba, the Jose Archie, Purba, the Xinjiang, and that the Jordan, you should not the Tuga, Joso, not the Tuga Purba. I've also heard an explanation where in this section the Edam is the regular Vajakila. <laughs> so in a way I think it, it doesn't matter. So however you have received the instructions of visualizing in this one moment, Vajakilaya, you, you visualize. Because in the in in the next part of this 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 section uh the archi as vajakilaya uh, and the specific form uh, will will be emphasized uh, again so in this part this first part of this idam first you are to train and cultivate the pride uh, so to say or the confidence of being the idam so I would say if you have a regular practice of Vajakilaya especially, then if you know you, you are very confident and very familiar uh, with that practice, uh, then you can just uh, in this moment recollect uh, that I am Vajakilaya uh, and then do the mantra. So this part is also the image 如果你很熟悉这个普巴这个修修持呢，在当下呢，你就能够这个呃意念呢，你这本身呢就是普巴金刚。Now, where does this idam come from? Well, for one thing, is the nature of your mind. 这个本尊如何升起呢？它就是我们心的本性。Ultimately, the idam is the nature of our mind, pure mind, Buddha mind. Uh, on an, a more immediate level, the idam is the embodiment of our bodhicitta. So, the bodhicitta is also the embodiment of our bodhicitta. Then, the idam is the embodiment of so don't get carried away by wrathful and energy and power and things like that. So don't Bodhicitta that is, you know, uh, uncompromising. It's not uncompromising other people, you know. <laughs> Sometimes those of us who practice wrathful deities become very uncompromising of other people. It's uncompromising in our own commitment to benefiting others. But that also doesn't mean, you know, you impose on other people and say, hey, 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 I want to benefit you, you know, and shake them. And it's like, pay attention to me, I'm, I'm trying to benefit you. No, it has nothing to do with forcing on other people. It means we don't give up. 
就是我们不放弃。We don't get confused as to why we are doing these things, why we are practicing. 然后也不会让这这不一直的记得为什么要修这个法，就是不忘了我们的初心。So in the words in this section, again very short, it says Vajakilaya, the deity of enlightened activities. So here, uh, calling Vajakilaya the deity of enlightened activities, uh, in the five Buddha families, uh, with the enlightened body, speech, mind, uh, qualities, and activities, uh, these five. Vajakilaya is said to be the embodiment of the fifth uh, enlightened activities. Uh, so Buddhas are said to have uh, enlightened body, enlightened speech, enlightened mind, yeah, enlightened uh, qualities, and enlightened activities. So Vajakilaya is said to be embodiment of uh, enlightened activities. 呃，生物的事业，我们讲的一些呃种种的佛陀的这个生狗意，呃，这个成就跟事业，这个在普巴金刚呢是代表说这个动物的事业。呃、uh, ，For example, in the Yangzhap system, uh, the main deity is Hayagriva.、Uh, so then Hayagriva is said to be the embodiment of Enlightened speech. So in the Yang Zhap, the other one is the Yang Zhap. 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 And so here, Vajrakilaya arises as the fundamental nature of appearances and possibilities. This is one translation, but another way of translating is to say, Vajakilaya is the basic nature of both the appearance of things as well as the essence of things. Uh, the essence of things is emptiness. Uh, meaning lack of inherent existence, lack of self. Uh, so that's the wisdom aspect. Uh, then the appearance aspect is, in this case, the compassionate aspect. As long as we are confused, huh, then the appearance aspect is samsara. <laughs> the more we are free from confusion, then more and more the appearance aspect is going to be the mandala huh, and the deities. When we are more and more free from confusion, then more and more the appearance aspect is going to be the mandala and the deities. Then here it says, since primordial time, that means always, the Samaya and wisdom deities are inseparably one. This is from this island, it says this. Since primordial time, the Samaya and wisdom deities appear inseparably as one. So what this is referring to is, um, uh, again, in more elaborate sadhanas, uh, first you visualize yourself as the deity, then this is called the Samaya deity. Then the Samaya deity gives out light to invite what's known as the wisdom deity. Uh, which in this case is always said 
Samaya deity is our current uh, level of um, realization. Wisdom deity is the actual uh, perfected uh, deity. Uh, so then through ritual, through visualization, uh, we see these two coming together, dissolving into one. So this is a skillful method uh, to train in the conviction or the con conviction and the confidence that we are deity. But here, because this is a instantaneous uh, self-generation, then no need uh, to, oh, I am at this level of attainment, uh, so-called the Samaya deity, Oh, there is the perfected uh, level over there, and the two has to come together. Here it's saying, uh, now and later, here and there, uh, not yet so advanced, completely perfected, are uh, ultimately non-dual. Samuel 現在未來是我們這裡和那裡還是並不是這麼善巧跟圓滿的這個這個本尊呢,其實是現在當下呢就無我無別的。So to practice this, I would say it takes a lot of guts. You, you have to have, you know. Confidence. Like real confidence, you know, which you can develop. Not pretending, you know. Pretending is uh, maybe uh, as a preliminary, but we really have to work on increasingly uh, developing this confidence. And this confidence, uh, the difference between like a confidence that comes from pretending, uh, there's that kind of confidence, which ultimately not reliable, and the confidence that comes from hmm, making effort to really clear our pleasures, our afflictive emotions. Because we, we are already Buddha, there's no doubt about that. The only problem is that our pleasures, our afflictive emotions are hindering uh, this Buddha nature to be realized and to be actualized. So how do we gain confidence that we are Buddha? Well, there is a very effective way to do that rather than sit around and wait, oh, maybe one of these days I will start to feel like I'm the deity. Well, if you don't huh, work on giving up, leaving behind the clashes, it will not magically happen. If it will magically happen, there's no need for the path. Buddhas don't have to come. Centers can close. <laughs> Everybody will have an easier time. That's not how it works, you know. Yeah. 清除我们的这个烦恼去把我们的降服我们的烦恼 So then, knowing that this deity 
is the embodiment of bodhicitta, then also understand from another, another perspective. If you feel like, you know, oh, I, I, I cannot, you know, my, my visualization is not clear, my confidence is not strong, that means we need to work on bodhicitta. Yes, some familiarity with how the idam looks is helpful, but I can tell you, you know, staring and staring and staring at the picture is not going to make you a more real idam. In one of the tantras, it says, you know, uh, the practice of the yogis is not to turn into statues and paintings. Uh, it says the practice of the yogis is to turn into embodied bodhicitta. Uh, specifically, this tantra is saying, you know, when we talk about visualize yourself as the deity, visualize yourself as the deity, most of us are striving to become statues or paintings. <laughs> uh, so the says, it's not the practice so that you become a statue or a painting. But it's to strive to become bodhicitta and body. So with that, now let's do this section. Again, if you cannot hear the chanting, you might want to go back to the main room temporarily. Uh, the translators themselves, they can hear me, but I don't know if the rest of you in the rooms, in the translation room, can hear me or not. Uh, <laughs> Um, Badra Gile Gilaya Sarwa Big Nimbong Hong Pen. Um, Badra Gile Gilaya Sarwa Big Nimbong Hong Pet. Um, Badra Gile Gilaya Sarwa Big Nimbong Hong Pen. Um, Badra Gile Gilaya Sarwa Big Nimbong Hong Pet. Um, Badra Gile Gilaya Sarwa Big Nimbong Hong Pen. Um, Badra Gile Gilaya Sarwa Big Nimbong Hong Pet. Um, Badra Gile Gilaya Sarwa Big Nimbong Hong Pen. Um, Badra Gile Gilaya Sarwa Big Nimbong Hong Pet. Um, Badra Gile Gilaya Sarwa Big Nimbong Hong Pet. Um, Badra Gile Gilaya Sarwa Big Nimbong Hong Pet. Um, Badra Gile Gilaya Sarwa Big Nimbong Hong Pen. Um, Badra Gile Gilaya Sarwa Big Nimbong Hong Pet. Um, Badra Gile Gilaya Sarwa Big Nimbong Hong Pen. Um, Badra Gile Gilaya Sarwa Big Nimbong Hong Pet. 
Um badra gile gilaya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gilaya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gilaya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gilaya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gilaya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gilaya sarva bing nan bong hung pen Um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya pa sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen Um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen Um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen Um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen Um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen Um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen um badra gile gila ya sarva bing nan bong hung pen Here in this uh, idam section, um, uh, you can say that uh, associated or appended to this section are the activities related to uh, the idam, and specifically uh, two main activity. One is to liberate, uh, to free uh, ourselves and others from the obstacles and to repel that means to turn back uh, obstacles uh, so, Chesar Rinpoche, Kyabje Nubar Rinpoche, you know, they have all said, uh, like this this next two section, uh, we, we, we can do the chant, you know, we do the visualization, but we should not think, you know, that uh, there are real enemies out there uh, that we're trying to destroy. Uh, because the language is the language of like enemies, uh, uh, destroying, but we have to be very careful not to think, you know, these are like related to problems that we encounter out there. The real destroying is destroying our clashes. And ultimately to destroy our self-grasping. When we practice the practice, we have to be careful about the practice. 
我们这个啊摧毁呢我们这些怨敌啊敌人呢，不要把它当这这是我们所面对的那些啊外在的那些敌人，而是要把它视为呢，就这里指的最主要呢，是我们内心的那种烦恼，跟我们的执着，我们要摧毁的是内心这个烦恼，跟这个啊。执着这个真正的内心的这个敌人。Then temporarily, you know, if we don't have a lot of、uh, kind of more stable、uh, practice of the conviction,、uh, the confidence that、uh, we are embodied bodhicitta, we are idam,、uh, then temporarily this next two section、uh, is not necessary to to practice. So from here we can go to the、uh, completion stage, the dissolution stage for the idam practice. In the English text,、uh, this is on page eight. I, I don't know、uh, in the other text where,、uh, if the interpreters can help look for it, is the concluding dissolution stage.、Uh, it be begins、uh, in the Tibetan. It's a lato namkya namkya sumo kula du. Lato namkyang tsomo kuladu on page eight. 如果是呃我们没有这个信心呢，就这个观想这个本身，就了解这个菩提心，对我们自己没有信心的自己是本身自己是菩提心的化现呢，我们接下来这个两个事业的部分呢，我们可以啊略过。So there it says, all the deities dissolve into the body of the main goddess, meaning the main vajrayana. Because as you recite the mantra, right? You are also to see all beings as turning into Vajrakilaya, and the whole world turning into the pure land of Vajrakilaya. So now all the pure land, all aspects of the pure land, all beings dissolve into the main yourself as Vajrakilaya in, in this special female form. Then she dissolves into the Hong syllable. So her outer form dissolves into this Hong syllable in the heart. So, 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 Which is the Dharma state. Then remaining a few moments in the Dharmakaya state, then after that, once again you reappear in the form of Vajrakilaya. So, ah, in this practice, in this practice, in this practice, this is to say, even after you finish your practice, you finish your meditation, you get up from your cushion, you know, you should not turn back into an ordinary being and start fighting and worrying and <laughs> and doing negative things, you know. You should carry this experience of being the deity into everyday life. So, ah, from the practice, when you wake up, you are suddenly transformed into this Buddha Jin Gang. No need to, you know, go around town taking the bus or driving your car, you know, holding your kila. Okay, please don't do that. You should not 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 do that. One time,、uh, Ondo Rinpoche was saying, saying "Yeah, he said I'm in Europe. I met this guy、uh, who said, 'You know, that he's busy polishing, like、um, uh, not polishing, but、uh, sharpening his kila. <laughs> like he has bought a, 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 a purba, you know, and then he thinks that you know、uh, it should be sharpened、uh, into a sharp knife. So he's busy sharpening. So Rinpoche said, 'You know, he was a little bit afraid of this guy.'" <laughs> 
This is to totally misunderstand, you know, uh, what, what, what the, the practice is about. Uh, people start thinking, oh, you know, the killer, and, you know, and then it, and it needs to be sharpened, you know. That's because the text is, you know, that is so sharp, you know, that it cuts anything that touches it. So then people conceptually think, oh, I need to go sharpen my purba, you know. No, that's talking about the sharpness of your mind. Mm -hmm. That whatever touches this wisdom mind, this knowing mind, is shredded. And meaning all confusions are destroyed upon touch. And the moment you're knowing uh, your this this rikpa, uh, the moment this knowing, uh, this 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 um, you know uh, non-conceptual Buddha knowing, whatever it touches, you know, it shreds, it cuts, it liberates. It's, what is this weapon? This weapon is wisdom mind, knowing mind, the mind that knows. Uh, this citta, uh, in the Theravada forest tradition, they say the citta. Uh, in, in, in Tibetan, we say rikpa. Uh, in the context of Vajakilaya, we say the weapon. What is the weapon? Wisdom mind, knowing mind. Knowing without obscuration, knowing without confusion. That is the secret weapon. Huh? Not a hidden killer, you know, <laughs> in your pocket. <laughs> that is sharpened. You accidentally is going to cut yourself. So here, you have to go to the hospital and try to explain to the doctor what's going on. Uh, uh, then you arise again in the form of a jaculaya, then again do dedication. So for auspiciousness, we're going to do this now. So in a so <laughs> So we have passed the time, five minutes, but I think let's leave like 10 minutes or so for questions. So if there are any questions, please ask. Uh, if you're asking in the Spanish room or the uh, Chinese room, then I need the translators to come back to the main room and translate the question for me so that I can answer. <laughs> And I go first. Can you hear yes. me? Yes, I can hear you very well, Anila. Okay. Can you go to page three? Uh, the line before the last line. Can you change that line, please? Uh, page three. Oh, we are on different texts. Sorry. The first set of dedication, that is the fourth, offering of the mandala. The first line of offering the mandala. 
uh, drum chitar nangwa. Is that the one you're talking yeah, yeah, yeah. about? Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, Chitar Nangwa, right? No Chu Okay, thank yeah. you. I, I have an extra syllable. Oh, and okay. Let's yeah. go back. The line above the mantra of um, Vajrasattva. Same page, the mantra of Vajrasattva. Uh, yeah, Chiche Megi Datang Nangwa To. Okay, did that translation get cleaned up? When uh, Rinpoche was giving this uh, uh, talk, yeah, Chiche Migi, yeah, uh huh, Datang Nangwa Cho, right? Okay. Yeah. Did he change that? Did you guys uh, change the translation to no so pure and clean, not appearance, but permission? Uh, appearance, permission. I don't have appearance of permission you here. Henceforth, I will not do. Bestow your clean. Appearance. Oh, yeah, you have a different translation. Uh, here I have, I will not do them in the future. Please grant the experience of complete purity. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, good. And then the following page. This is the main topic. First comes the practice of the very secret uh, on the seat of layered lotus and moon is the Tarmakaya Great Mother, Mistress of Space, Choki Drone. Right there on the lotus and moon, um, is there an appearance of Prajaparamita that transforms into the mother? No, no, this is just uh, Archie, uh, but Archie in uh, the form of uh, Banya Paramita. Yeah, so just the great mother Dharmakaya, uh, but no, no specific Banya Paramita. That is, uh, you have a completely different translation. Uh, I can't give it up. I have. Yeah, yeah. but it's. But it's just um, you know a, a different translation. There is no um, there is no panya uh, paramita in the Tibetan. Chuku yumchen, chuku dharmakaya yumchen, great mother. Sometimes great mother uh, is another word for panya paramita, but not necessarily so. Okay. All right, so yeah. that's good. We have the same translation, by the way. The line you just read. Is the same as this one? Uh, no, the line that I have here in my translation is the Great Mother Dharmakaya, the Queen of Space. Okay, I have okay, I have it okay, Doma. similar, but then in my own handwriting, I have Rinpoche recommends uh, visualizing Prajna Paramita first. Well, it's the form that is in the Tanka, you know. Okay. Uh, Sister Susan Tan. Uh, in the background, uh, oh, she disappeared. But in her background is the the picture of uh, the guru, uh, <laughs> the guru uh, Archie. Uh, there. Uh. Yeah. No, I have it in front of yeah. me. Okay. <laughs> um, and lastly, we just did the dedication. Am I? So when it arrives, when we arise again, you know, arise yes. as Kalaya. Is it Kalaya or Vajra Kumara that arises again? Uh, no difference in this context. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's just that uh, sometimes in some uh, sadness, uh, they, uh, they uh, make a difference between the two. And when they do make a difference, it's basically uh, two arms or many arms. Uh, so Vajra Kumara is two arm. Okay. But in this case, in the Tibetan, it has did not say anything about Vajra Kumara. It says Layang Kilaya I Kuru Gyur. So Again, it says you are Kilaya. It doesn't. 
Thank you. Thank yeah. you mm -hmm. so much. All right, sure. Um, Guru, there's yes. a question in the chat room. I mm -hmm. summarized it. Mm -hmm. um, so, is that the both food and drinks to be offered outside, uh, to bring to outside to offer to other beings after the, the whole Yes, food? yes, yes. Just as uh, the, the chewable and the drinkable uh, is offered and then consumed, then likewise, when you take out, uh, that is also offered. But then often how it's done is you pour a little bit of the liquid uh, into uh, the remainder food and then you, you take that out together. Okay, there's only this question in the room. Okay. Uh, I think someone is asking and then is after receiving, receiving this empowerment need to do this practice every day. Mm -hmm. I heard already in the Chinese, she had been doing this. This guan ding, after guan ding, to do every day. Are the questions? Yeah. Uh, this guan ding, after guan ding, to do every day. I will try to answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Don't know if I have the answer to from everyone's one, questions, two, three, but to everyone asking from one, two, three. Uh, there's a second question in mm -hmm. the chat room. Sure. Mm -hmm. Is there any contradictions if I uh, I maintain myself as Archi Vajakilaya uh, Godless if sometimes I am practicing Guru Rinpoche as Guru? No, no, no. Uh, Buddhas don't fight. Buddhas have single nature. <laughs> Sentient <laughs> beings. Uh, on a hot day, need this deity. Uh, on a cold day, need that deity. Daytime need that deity, nighttime need that deity. This is just the compassion of Buddhas appearing in different forms to benefit different beings at different times. So don't see, don't think that there's any contradiction. So don't worry. <laughs> um, maybe we need Brother Yao to translate to the Chinese group. Uh, there's a lot of people asking about the, the Chinese Sadhana text where there's a lot of people also been kind to share already in the chat room. But uh -huh. I think I think because of the far is not named under Chinese, people do not do not get it. So Yao, you please tell everyone is in the chat room, they can just download. Uh, there's been twice, people have uploaded, and then there's a couple of questions people are asking about the, chi text, uh, on Chinese, the Chinese text. Well. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh, sure. Thank you. So Huawei M6 uh, that's the next question. Do yes. we visualize the mantra gallons during Idam meditations? Uh, if you want, you can, uh, but this text don't specify uh, because it's so kind of essential, you know. In a way, this this text, right? When it practices the Guru, when it practices the Idam, uh, it emphasizes, uh, you can say, uh, the nature of mind level of practice. Uh, so rather than elaborate uh, visualization, mm, like going out, like coming in, like turning around, it emphasizes more on abiding in the nature, in the natural state. Mm. Of course, if you want to visualize, yes, you can. But it emphasizes more holding uh, your uh, rikpa, mm? Mm, abiding in the state of rikpa, and just chant the mantra. Uh, holding relative and, bodhi and ultimate bodhicitta together. Uh, this is Lojong language. Uh, Lojong language, uh, Mahamudra language, Rigpa language, language is different, meaning same. Mm? So Lojong language, uh, holding relative and ultimate bodhicitta, recite the mantra. Mm? Remaining uh, in the natural state, recite the mantra. Mm? Holding Rigpa, uh, recite the mantra. Mm? This is the style here.
，就以在安住一个粉结的状态呢，就是诵持这个咒语，或是在你禅修的时候呢，也是安住于你的本觉，你的觉性当中。There's one more question. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, what is the translation of Maraya? That is. Oh yeah, that that is the section that we have not covered yet. And uh, don't worry, uh, we I will the next time we meet, I will go through that section. But quickly, here it means uh, be gone, the Maras. Uh, Mara, uh, you know the the demons, so to say. Uh, it says the demons be gone. Yeah, go away, <laughs> Maraya. Sometimes Maraya, you know, like be gone, absolutely gone. Ah,过后呢会解释，这一般的解释呢就是说，Maraya就是遣遣送这些这些不好的，遣走送走的意思就。The question here, how about the mantra will of Ati Guru Idam Jagiem? Dakini protector. Any question in Spanish or in Chinese? <laughs> oh, okay. Bueno. <laughs> so there, there is a there's a question in related to earlier. How uh -huh. about the mantra will of Achi Guru Idam uh, Dakini and as and protector? Uh, I don't really know that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, cannot help. Does anyone know what that it means? Was, yeah, it was hanging questions. Oh, so okay. I, about I, and... I, I don't know. Yeah. Sorry. Um, if if the person asking the question can elaborate what is the context of that question, then maybe I can guess an answer. But offhand, I, I don't un really understand. Maybe I'm just missing something. <laughs> um, then there's the next question is in Chinese on mm -hmm. our Cho uh, offerings. Is there any specific directions that we have to put that oh, uh, the no, offering no, outside? No, 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 no. Uh, do it with uh, care. Do it with uh, care. Kindness. No more question from the chat. Okay, good. Uh, so I think uh, we should end here. Uh, this evening, some of you have to go work tomorrow morning. It's getting late. Uh, again, uh, I'm glad that we have this opportunity to spend some time gaining some familiarity uh, with this particular practice. Uh, so um, we will learn more uh, all the other sections uh, bit by bit by bit. Uh, we have to stabilize uh, our practice <laughs> level to level to level. Otherwise, we get so much information, uh, then we have no experience, uh, and information cannot solve problems. Uh, so finally, uh, let's make a final dedication, uh, the bodhicitta dedication, because... Guru, Guru yes. sorry, there's one more question coming in. Uh, uh -huh. Is the Edam practice the only portion of the set of practice where we <laughs> visualize ourselves as Archi, the rest of us want to visualizations? Uh, we, will, we shall see. <laughs> Chan
Kepanyam pa me bayang Goneng gong du Pelwar shu I want to share with uh, you guys here um, an upcoming program uh, I, I know uh, all of you uh, have a lot of teachings to attend uh, access to a lot of uh, great uh, teachers uh, teachers with a lot of realization and experience uh, but in case you are still looking for things to do, uh, then maybe better than watching Netflix or YouTube videos of cats uh, or whatever. <laughs> um, through a collaboration between um, Urban Dharma uh, in North Carolina and uh, Dugong Dharma Chakra, uh, the initiative of James in Singapore, uh, I will start a series uh, that will go on for a while on the Bodhicaya Vatara. Mm. It will only be in English because it will be uh, rather long if we try to translate. Uh, <laughs> and it's a long-term commitment that I'm not going to burden uh, um, our uh, kind interpreters with. Uh, so that is the link to uh, putting your email uh, on the mailing list for this program. Uh, putting your email there doesn't assume that you're making a commitment to attend, uh, but if you want more information. Uh, so that link, if you click it, I just shared, uh, you sh it should open up, I think. Let me click and make sure it, <laughs> it opens uh, to something. Oh yes, yeah, so if you click that, uh, then it says enter your email uh, then you can enter your email uh, this series will start uh, in may uh, exact date in may is unclear mm. it will basically be tuesday and saturday uh, for the western hemisphere morning uh, for asia in the evening so the idea is of course not everyone can attend uh, on sunday morning for Western Hemisphere. Some people have to work, but we will make sure that we put up the recording in time for you to watch before the Saturday session. Yeah, so um, it's designed that way. So it will be twice a week for many, many, many weeks, hopefully beyond the pandemic. Uh, we pray that the pandemic uh, will uh, be pacified uh, we all do our part uh, to stop uh, the virus from mutating <laughs> in many ways we can do to stop that. Uh, do whatever you're comfortable to do. Uh, not just prayers, you know, uh, your actions. Do whatever you're comfortable to do. I know some of you are not comfortable uh, taking the vaccine. Uh, if you're not comfortable, then I'm not going to <laughs> have an argument with you. Uh, but if you are comfortable, uh, I have taken it myself. And of course, many of our teachers, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, Sakya Tenzin, many of our teachers. Uh, so anyway, this is your... your but the main thing is... Uh, we really need to not give the virus more opportunities to yeah. virus lifespan is very short uh, so that means they, they can keep improving themselves just like we try to improve ourselves you know they can try to keep improving ourselves so as long as they're spreading they're going to improve themselves uh, then uh, so if you don't uh, you're not comfortable with <laughs> the vaccine then do whatever else you can, wash your hands, wear your mask, you know, minimize a big gathering and crowds for the benefit of all beings. Those of us who are healthy, maybe we're not so threatened 
but try to remember there are many others who have compromised immune system. Uh, they, 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 they are in harm's way more than us. So this is how we practice bodhicitta. So have a good day, have a good evening. Thank you so much. Tata.